you want to know how to use some free VST plugins to make any mic sound good? If you're thinking what's a VST plugin, I'll show you. It's very simple. And if you watch my previous video about making any mic sound good with just straight OBS filters, that's definitely helpful. Check that out. And also this will take it to that next level. So my goal for this video is to have any microphone tailored to sound more for broadcasting. So this you can use in your Twitch live streams, your YouTube videos, what have you. And honestly, let's get into it. Okay, so if you watch my previous video about OBS mic settings for any microphone, those are gonna be the four compressors you see here. And what I wanna show you is a bunch of different VST plugins uh, like EQ, another compressor, and uh, this other uh, VST plugin called Wider. And these are all free. These are great resources. So the links are in the description below. What I'd like you to do is download those, follow the installer, and then reboot OS OBS and follow along with me. All right. Okay, so the first plugin that we're gonna put in is gonna be an EQ. So we're gonna go right click add VST plugin. We're gonna name it. I'm gonna rename it VST Slick EQ. I'm gonna hit okay. And then we're gonna add the plugin. What I've got here is Slick EQ. Then we click to open the interface make sure it's on live mode and then we are gonna go into German there's different EQ settings uh, but I, I believe German is a little bit more softer with how the EQ pattern runs and we're gonna click EQ sat and then we want to go over to here and we're gonna get our high pass frequency to about 50 Hertz you could double click in here and type it in that's what I'm gonna do Boom, 50 Hertz next in the low area we want to make it a bell curve and we want to make our frequency at actually 85 Hertz and we want to boost this about seven decibels so there we go seven decibels and how I'm doing that I'm clicking and dragging up or down to bring the decibel up or down on the gain okay so in the mid what we want to do is bring this down to about 400 Hertz and I'm just gonna put 400 so I dragged it down to where it said Hertz not kilohertz and then I typed in 400 and what we want to do is reduce this to about three to four and a half decibels. So I'm going to go about 3.6. So in our high frequency, we want to go to 5,000 or five kilohertz. And we want to also make it a bell curve. That's important. And we want our gain to go also up to about seven decibels. So that is going to boost that frequency. And the voice you speak, the volume you speak out with your voice is somewhere around 5,000 kilohertz. So that's why we're boosting it. And while we're boosting the low is to get really those low tones out of your voice into your microphone. So here we wanna go into deep. We wanna calibrate this to seven decibels and we want our output gain to be six decibels. There we go, that's it. I like to put all these EQs between the suppression and compressor. So I'm going to move this up so it's between the suppression and compressor. Now we're gonna add our next plugin, which is another VST plugin, and this one is VST Nova. So we add that, move it up, gonna select it, and then open the interface. Okay, so the way I have my screen set up, it's gonna clip a few things, but what's important from here is you wanna click this precise and change it to eco. And then you don't need to see anything on the top of here. I'm also going to hit this in signal so I could see my EQ voice on in. But when I'm done setting it, I want to turn that off so my processing goes down a little bit. And actually my CPU usage is only 3%, so these are not pulling that much. I don't need uh, range 1 and 2, so really I only need bands 1 and 4. So for band 1, what we want to get rid of is the plosive sounds or p sounds. You can see where it's hitting right there when I go right there so that's the goal is to eliminate those and how we do that is we make sure it's on bell curve we're going to change our Q to be 0.5 and we want our frequency for me it's so let's see here I'll move it to a hundred okay we don't want any gain here be sure to click on threshold what you want to do is move your threshold to your signal input so that's about negative 25 for me yeah right there negative 25 so that way it starts to work you can see how it's working here 
and we want the ratio to be quite large so it's going to be 10 to 1 10 to 1 attack 20 milliseconds release 200 milliseconds so the next band we want to affect is to get rid of the sounds you can see where it is right here it's so we're going to activate four kind of drag it where i see it there you go and uh sorry if that was super annoying we're going to make it a bell curve that's important we're going to make the q 1.5 the uh, frequency I already have it set at. We want to set a threshold. We want to bring it down to about negative 24 also. So you could see like your normal speaking volume. And you could see it starts to kick in and get rid of those sounds. Hopefully it sounds better on your end. Uh, ratio should be 2.5. So 2.5, hit enter. Sorry, attack should be 10 milliseconds and release should be 150 milliseconds and that's it don't forget to uncheck in and now i'm going to close it the next plugin we're going to put in is a compressor and this has a little bit more functionality than the built-in compressor with obs so i'm going to add a vst plugin uh, vst kotelnikov kotel so i'm looking at how to spell it kotelnikov boom select it open the interface so importantly, we want to go ahead and change this to eco mode. So it's not using up so much processing. Depending on your CPU usage, you could run these back up to precise. So you're not having any like audio issues or weird dropouts or anything like that, which can occur, but uh, I doubt it. First, we got to go back. You see my mouse. We got to go here and move this up. So it's on top of the EQ on top of the Nova and then before this compressor. So going back into that. We want to set its threshold at to where it's working. So I'm going to drag this up and almost like my other compressor it was set at negative 35. So you could see it was working negative 35 and I'm happy. You can see a lot of gain reduction happening here. Next, your peak crest should be set to RMS. So you just want to click and drag that all the way up to where it says RMS, which is infinity. You want your soft knee at about nine decibels. So maybe just click in here and type in nine and ratio is similar to what I did on uh, the OBS compressor, which is three to one attack. We're going to set this one a little bit different. This is eight milliseconds and release is 250 milliseconds. Next, we're going to set our output gain. And what I'm gonna do is actually get rid of this compressor and set my output gain. So sorry if my audio drops out weirdly. So my output gain, you wanna keep at a ratio. So you're about three, three to one. So 35 times a third is about 12. And look at how much compression I'm getting and it's making it very even on the red. So that's great, that's perfect. I don't wanna go any more than that. Okay, and our last and final plugin is gonna be another VST and it's gonna be wider. And this is what you want on the end of your chain. You select it. I do wider, not wider 32, since I'm running a 64 bit. Uh, open the plugin. And this is an interesting plugin. It makes your, so if you have one microphone, you're a mono input. And what this thing does is, let me get my hands. So when your mono input, it centers it. Like if you have headphones, it's centering that mono input. What this is gonna do is push that mono input, whatever percentage you choose it to each ear. And it could sound really weird if you push it to both. But uh, so I'm gonna show you as I'm talking, I like to keep it at about 25 to 30% range. So I don't know if you could tell the difference of me talking and, and deactivated and me talking again. And now you could sound when it gets really weird if you want to bring those up to crazy volumes and then it pushes it up to like 200%. I'm sure I sound like crazy, but I'll, I'll put it back down. So we're going to bring it to 25%. Close it and that's it. So these are the four plugins I wanted to show you, which is Slick EQ, uh, Nova, Katelnikov, and Wider. These are free. Download them in the description below and make your stream sound better, okay? So hopefully this video was helpful for you. 
And I do have another video coming up where I'm gonna show you how to control all your different audio inputs like Spotify, Discord, blah, 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 blah. And um, yeah, be looking out for that. If you did find this video helpful, please hit that like button or subscribe to the channel or both, you know, whatever. And I do stream live on Twitch and I'm building a copyright free music playlist uh, of lo-fi beats that you can use in the background of your streams with no DMCA issues. All the info for that is in the description below. And thank you for watching.